Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm Wendy and this is my mobile home sweet home. Today I have a little craft project I'm going to do, so I thought maybe you might like to follow along and see what I'm doing. This is a really easy and cheap <laughs> craft that I have am using all dollar store materials for the most part. So uh, I think if you wanted to try this, especially if you're a beginning crafter and don't have much crafting experience, this would be a perfect place to start. This is just a really simple craft that should turn out really cute. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. I am using this little cutting board from Dollar Tree, and I have this little thing here. I actually cut this off of a calendar that I got at Dollar Tree a year or two ago and I've always loved this little saying. I loved it when I saw it because this is uh, something that Cinderella in the last <laughs> Cinderella remake, this is a message her mother had instilled in her to have courage and be kind and I love that movie so much. I When I saw this I thought oh I've got to do something with that. I love that. So I just, I did this off camera. I just laid it over the top of this cutting board. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a, a ridge that goes around the edge. So I just laid that picture over the top of it and kind of ran my finger over the edge to put like a crease around. And that was where I wanted to cut. So... I did that and just cut it out using these handy little craft scissors, also from Dollar Tree. So that's what I did. So I'm just going to Mod Podge it on here and then put some pretty trim on it of some kind. I have something here I'm going to use. So the first thing we're going to do is open a stubborn bottle of Mod Podge. <laughs> I did get this from Amazon, but you can buy it at Dollar Tree. They have the real little small bottles there, usually. And those are okay to use. There, There's enough in there that you can easily do a, a crap like this and have plenty. So you don't necessarily have to go and buy this great big bottle. But I craft a lot, and so I need the great big bottle. <laughs> Even though that probably will last me for quite some time. I don't craft nearly as much as I used to. I've just gotten too busy to have the time to do it. And quite frankly, another reason is my craft room is atrocious. And <laughs> it looks like I'm auditioning for an episode of Hoarders. It's bad. <laughs> my kids are always giving me a hard time about it. They always say, Mom, when you die, we know we're going to come in here and it's going to look like the Dollar Tree exploded. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> An accurate depiction of my craft room. It's so embarrassing. I even hate to go in there. I've got to do something with that room. It's just completely out of control. But it's one of those things where I have procrastinated it for so long. Okay, Mod Podge is on. I'm just going to lay this down right inside the little groove so it's right in the center. And you can kind of wiggle it around a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy with that coat of Mod Podge because I'm going to put some over the top. And if you have a whole bunch underneath, you know, underneath the picture, then put more on top it's just going to saturate it and wrinkle it all up and unless that's the look you're going for you really don't want that and you know you're going to have probably a few wrinkles here and there see I'm getting a few here but I'm just going to smooth them out with my fingers I have a or I used to have a little roller that I would use to go over this but I can't find it and I'm sure it's in that um bottomless pit of a room <laughs> that is known as my the craft room from hell. I know it's terrible and I'm ashamed of myself. 
<laughs> Mostly I'm just embarrassed. I'm even embarrassed for myself in front of myself to look in there. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I'm usually not like that. I usually keep my house really clean, but for some reason that room has just become a catch-all and the worse it gets the less I want to go in there so it's just <laughs> completely out of control anyway sorry nobody wants to hear about my disastrous craft room boy that'd be a video to make organizing that thing holy Moses I'd, oh, I would die of mortification if you guys ever saw that room <laughs> oh. Okay, so just one thin layer of Mod Podge over this. There we go. Just kind of smooth it on. There's going to be a few wrinkles or two. You know, it's not, it's not bad enough that it ruins it by any stretch. It just kind of actually gives it a little texture and a little character, I guess. Makes it look a little bit vintagey. <laughs> There's a new word, vintagey. Okay. There's that. And now I'm going to use this pretty lace that I bought at the Dollar Tree. This little lace ribbon. I love this stuff. I use it for a lot of things. It just really is beautiful and definitely gives things a vintage look. It's just a cream color. I think I'm just gonna put it on like this. And I am going to use my glue gun for that. I have my small glue gun out and I don't, oh, I don't like this glue gun because this is what it does. When it heats up, it's just constantly leaking glue out and I don't like that. But I'm out of glue sticks for my big glue gun, so I've got to use this one. That's all right. It'll do the trick. It just makes a mess. Okay. Get rid of that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I usually use something when I use the glue gun, too, when I... You know, put the glue on and then I put this down. I usually use a popsicle stick or something like this little dowel to press it in place because I burnt my fingers so many times that I finally wised up. That hurts. Glue gun burns hurt a lot. I got my big glue gun. I bought it a couple years ago and I really love it. It works so good and it has a stand on it so it stands up and it doesn't tip over. That was one reason I bought it, because I love that feature about it. But, man, I am telling you, it gets extremely hot. And I burnt myself really, really bad a couple of years ago on it. In fact, it scared me bad enough that when I did it, I actually called my daughter. I almost had her come get me and take me to the hospital. It was really bad. I almost passed out. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it really scared me. It hurt. Burns are no fun, that is for sure. Now i got to work kind of fast because the hot glue will dry quickly. Make the corner here. I hope you can see this okay. I'm sorry if I don't have a better view for you. Let's kind of go like this. Oops, okay. I'm wondering if I can get this done before my glue stick runs out. I don't think I'm going to make it. One thing about this little mini glue gun, though, ooh, is that it while it does get hot, and it's hot enough to burn you, it doesn't get near as hot as my big one does. But, so I'm still careful, because a burn is a burn, <laughs> and they all hurt. But that burn I gave myself off that big glue gun, oh boy, that's not an experience I would want to repeat. 
One thing I did, though, when I burnt myself, my daughter is very into doTERRA essential oils, and I called her, and she had me put peppermint on it to take out the burn, and then lavender to soothe it. And boy, that I just couldn't even believe the difference it made. It was really incredible. It healed it really fast. It healed it a lot quicker than it would have if I hadn't done that. I was really impressed. But I will tell you, the peppermint does burn it first. But if you can just get through it for about 60 seconds, <laughs> then you're home free. <laughs> Okay, so I put that around. Now, see, this is where I ended, and it looks kind of funny. So I'm going to trim that a little bit so it's not so obvious that that's where I ended it. So hopefully this looks a little bit better. Now I could put a... I'm going to put a bow on this, make a ribbon out of this ribbon. And I could put it right there in the corner to kind of hide that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Just a simple little bow, nothing too fancy. I'm going to cut this on a slant just to make it look nice. And I'm just going to loop it around a few times, make it look kind of frilly. Oops, you always want to make sure that your loops are even on both sides. Just something like that. Okay, so one thing I like to use to finish off my bows if I don't have any florist wire, and I do, but I don't, that's typically green wire, and I don't want to use that because it would show. So I'm using this little piece of a pipe cleaner, and those work really good for tying off bows. The wire in them is just the perfect gauge. And if you're using the right color of ribbon, usually it won't show. So I'm just going to, it's just something simple like this. Now I'm going to clip this so that both of the tails are the same length. I might want to, and I need to cut this excess pipe cleaner off. You can just cut this stuff with scissors. Even these little craft scissors will cut it. So I'm going to fold that little piece over so it will lay flat and cut my bow so that both of the ties are even. I'm probably going to shorten those up. They're a little bit too high. Oh, that's kind of neat. Now it's <laughs> This is an unplanned bonus <laughs> that both of the ties are wanting to just kind of lay like that on top. I think that looks kind of neat. So get the old trusty glue gun here and glue this bow in place. Oops. Ah, need to hurry up before it dries. Okay, just a simple little craft that's kind of a pretty little thing to hang in your kitchen somewhere or wherever you want to. You get the strings from the hot glue off of there. I hate those things. Sometimes I don't see them right away until I step back. And <laughs> yeah, there we go. Anyway, I hope you like this. If you want to try it, it's just really, really easy. And a calendar... If you get the right kind of calendar that you know that has pictures on it that you like, calendars can be a great thing to use to do crafts out of with, uh, you know, with different sayings or pictures on them. If you um, have something in particular to glue it to, like this little cutting board, or there's a million different choices, and Dollar Tree is an ex an excellent place to get things like that. There are tons of choices. They've got all different kinds of wood pieces and even things like this little cutting board. So, anyway.
Quake. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time.